Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and record your desktop audio and also record your desktop. So first off, let's go over to sources and go over this plus icon over here. And now what you want to do is you want to go over to the display capture really easily. Click on that, add source. So I added already a source on here, but I'm going to add a new one. Let's do that. And on here we can select which display we want. I'm going to select display number three and that is going to be this one. It just matters on how many displays are connected actually. You can also capture your cursor or disable it like you see it actually disappeared. But I like it to keep it on. So click on done. On here guys what you want to do is you can see like your desktop audio. But remember guys it's actually already recording. So on my settings, I'm going to show it right now. Go over to the corner, click on settings and go over to output, I mean video. And on here, you can also set the resolution. So what you also can do is you want to go to audio and you want to get the same settings as me. So on here, you can also select something specific, but just keep it on default. So once you are done, just close it off click on done and now let's just open up our Google Chrome and test out so like you see guys on desktop audio it shows that there is no audio at all but my mic is going on but what you want to simply do is you just want to go ahead and open something up so like you see on here guys I have my desktop I mean my video so what I can do is I can actually hear the sounds so let's just open it up and like you see guys on desktop audio it shows up so like you see guys it's just recording also and also recording the sounds so what you can simply do is you can press on record and also hear your desktop audio. It will be automatically connected, guys. You can also adjust the volume. If the volume is, if you think it's too loud, you can adjust it to a lower level. Or what you also can do is you can go over to open advanced audio settings. On here, for example, what you can do is you can go to monitor and output. So what will happen is the sound that's gonna be playing on here, for example, on your Google Chrome, will be also be playing on your um, boxes itself on your headset maybe so what you also can do is you can hear yourself by going through here so let's do that so now I can actually hear myself once I talk so this is more let me turn it off this is more useful for the people that want to test out how their uh, stream lab sounds like before going live or if they're alive and you want to test it out, you can just go ahead and turn this one on. Also, guys, if you have added something like MP4, MP3, you can also hear yourself. I mean, hear the music that's me playing in the background instead of the people that hear it on the live stream itself. So these are some things what you can do and pretty useful. So let me go ahead and close these off. This was basically the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like. This was how to record the desktop audio on Streamlabs OBS. What you can do if you want to check it out, just go ahead and go to files, go to videos, and on here, here are your recorded videos that will be saved on here. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, please drop a like, subscribe. If you have a question, just comment down below. You can also follow me at Twitter and Instagram. I will leave a link in the description down below. So take care guys, goodbye.